Today, we're gonna to learn how to make burger patties at home the right way, because you've been making it wrong all these years. Lean ground beef does not make a good burger. You want at least 20% fat. If not more. If not more, at least 20% fat. I would try to get 25% fat. And I would look for ground chuck. When I make a patty, um, I don't, want to, I don't want to form it too much. I want to keep it loosely formed because when you cook something that's been pressed together too much, uh, it's going to turn it into, like my father used to call them, hockey pucks. You know, a lot of, a lot of manly men will, you know, really get in there and really make this, you know, I got this. I'm really making it yeah. something. I'm really... Well, it's, you know, you... And I think that's wrong. You got to be gentle. Gentle. The other trick here is, once you got your burger done, you know, you set it down, and you think you're all good to go. Um, one of the tricks that I've learned is the old thumbprint in the center. Have you ever seen that before? Mm -hmm. So that, A, keeps it from balling up. You know, when you take fresh beef and you put it on, or you cook it, it will all tighten and it'll ball up like a golf ball. So this allows it to cook evenly in the center and it will keep it flat. The other trick I do is I refrigerate it before I put it on the grill. I'll put it in the refrigerator for about 15 or 20 minutes, and let it cool back down again before I put it on the grill. And I think people under season. I think people are always afraid of salt and pepper when they cook and don't forget a fair amount of it actually falls off. I don't put salt and pepper inside the meat. I won't put it in a bowl and put salt and pepper and mix it up. Uh -huh. um, I also won't put salt and pepper on a burger a long time before I cook it. I'll put it on right before I cook it, cook it because if you put salt on too soon, It'll pull all the moisture out of the burger. Yep. And then liberally seasoned with pepper. I mean, I personally, I love a lot of pepper on a burger. When I put it on the grill, I will put it uh, seasoning side down, then I'll season the other side on the grill. My other rule on the grill is put it down, don't touch it. No pushing, no turning. Mm -hmm. Leave it, resist all temptations to be a caveman. Because you push it, everything, you, everything about a great burger. When you have a great burger, you say, how, what is it? This burger is so juicy. Ah! You're taking the juices out. And when you, <laughs> it loses it. Well, so why do people do it? Because they want to see the flames. They don't realize that they're putting the, the, the flames are coming from the grease. From it's the our fat. genetic code. Uh -huh. It's a manly thing. Beer, flames. You, the trick is that you learn what temperature the burger is by how much resistance you get. And there's different parts of your, your, your hand that can show you the different temperatures. Exactly. So I, some people do it on this side of their hand, some people do it on this side of the hand. I, I go here. So if you push right here, it's harder than it is right here. So this is medium well, and this is medium rare. So medium well, medium rare, medium. And when you push here, and you push here, you're at the same done this, and then you take it off. And you should let a burger rest before you put it on the bun. I let it rest like a minute or two. Because if you go right to the right. bun. Right, because the juices don't redistribute. You soak through the bottom bun and you go to pick it up and it all falls apart. Mm -hmm. And actually, when I let it rest, I flip it over halfway in the middle of resting. That's an insider trick. So there you have it. So don't be afraid. Make it bigger than its final burger. Put your finger through the middle, thumbprint in the middle. Over season. Flip once. Never squeeze, and you should have a great burger. Happy grilling.